Hello guys, Random CJ, back for another episode of Building Sand and Sea Bag. We are back with another episode of the tutorial here at the Bar and Grill, the Fishy Fry. And uh, I did the little BG for the Bar and Grill. You can add that little arrow in if you would like. Pause the screen now and copy off of this. Or if you do not care, you can just continue on with the build with me right now. So in here last episode we finished the floor while well, my video cut. So if that's why you were if you guys were a little if you guys were wondering about why it cut, uh it's because my storage was full. So yeah. The first thing we are going to grab today is sea lanterns and we are going to find uh the middle two blocks or we're going to find the middle block. So let's see 1 2 3 4 5 six seven one two three four five six so these are the two middle blocks and every two up we are going to place those sea lanterns there we're going to continue to place these and just duplicate everything on the other side so now we have some lighting up above and we have the skylight for the other light so we are going to start building this floor now Let's get one up in this corner, one up in this corner, one in this corner, and obviously one in this corner. So first we are going to start out with a just a little uh, casing, like a little circle around the whole entire build for the floor. So we can add this little oval or rectangle type thing. Okay, we have our rectangle of birch planks. Now we are going to add one, two, and that extends to about here. So stop at the end of the window. Actually, no, go to the start of the other window right there. And then we're going to add two rows to match the other side. Okay. And we're going to do this. But then we are going to replace that. So I don't even know why I built that right there. We're going to replace the barrier around here with birch steps. And obviously we don't need to add it on the back wall because if there was steps on the back wall there would be no place to go back there to get on the steps. But uh Feel free to add those on the back wall if you really care. Now we are going to fill this in down here with birch planks. Right after we dig it all out. And what we're going to do down here is we're going to make a little bit of a countertop thing. So we're going to fill this in real quick. We're going to take spruce fence string and some red carpet. But since the sun is sitting and my screen is starting to get blurry because of it, I'm going to go to bed. And we can continue working on this build in the morning. You know, I'm just going to head over to my house to go to sleep. So this is convenient for me in the Minecraft world because I can just walk across the street and uh, get a few drinks or uh, get something to eat. Okay, and you see how much more clear the screen is in the daytime in Minecraft. 
So we're going to speed over to the bar and grill, which is right here at the end of my modern neighborhood here. And we are going to continue to work on the inside of here. So we have this. Now we're going to find the middle of this, which is this block right here. And where's the exact middle? Okay, so the middle is two blocks. Alright, that's fine. We can work with this here and this here. Well, actually, let's extend it one. And work with that there. And actually, let's destroy this. So we only have two stairs on this side. And let's also do it on this side to where we only have two stairs on the edges. We're going to add two more fences. Then we're going to fill in the entire uh, bottom with string. And we're going to start, actually let's get red carpet or uh, black carpet as well. Where is it? Okay, it's right here. Right there. Let's do this here. Outline this. Oops. And then in the middle here, we will add this carpet. And then on the edge, we will add ourselves some bar stools. So actually I'm going to break this. We can have the bar tender in there. And we'll just pretend that there's a gate. So the bar tender will be in there. Uh, serving drinks. You can come down there to get a drink. And uh, yeah. So let me add some sea lanterns in here. Let's also add a little bit of a canopy just for some extra looks. Pull this up three on all four corners with the spruce fence. And then we are going to get oak slabs and fill this in here. Okay, now we have a bit of a canopy, and if you would like you could be like me here and add some lights right there in the middle of the bar okay and I'm just gonna have a little bit more fun with this I'm going to add I do not know why I just got rid of my slab I'm gonna add another little layer around here And I'm going to add some leaves draping down. Let's just get the plain old oak. You could do it as my design, or you could do it similarly, or you could just not add leaves at all if you do not care for the leaves. But I do care for the leaves because they add a little bit extra, and I like them. Also, just for some more character, we can never mind because that's not a full block. Uh, we have that there now, so we have the bar. Let's continue to fill in the floor because we will ha not have any more dip-ins to the floor plan.
So there's the bar there. And as soon as uh, we get done with this birch floor, I want to show you something that looks kind of cool. You may think otherwise. Two more rows after this. One. And two. So now I'm going to go into the menu. I'm going to grab item frame. And I'm going to grab four different kinds of potions. And then I'm going to place item frames all along the sides of the bar and then I'm gonna place the potions but I'm gonna make it upside down so it looks like a wine glass I learned that a while back when I was building a world that was supposed to take after the hood I learned that you could do that with these because I was just messing around with them and then I was like hey those kinda look like wine glasses so I'm just gonna keep these in the bar and I did, and I was like, huh, I'm going to use this in the future. And now's the time that I am. So, uh, it's a pretty cool design if you think about it, because you can tell, like, what they are, sort of. Oh, I got off track there. That's fine. I can always change it around a little bit. Doesn't really matter. As long as you've got the wine, people are happy. There we go. Okay, now we have it all filled around and we have this all filled in. So now we're going to take some gray wool. Actually, no. We're going to take some light gray hardened clay. We're going to go three in and three in from the wall. So we have a nine by nine area right here. And we're going to drag this all the way until there's three spaces left. Then we're going to put this one there. Okay. And this back here is going to be the kitchen. So this out here is all going to be dedicated to eating area. And uh, I'm going to start adding furnaces on this back wall here. And then this is going to be cauldrons for washing some dishes. Okay, there we go. We have our cauldrons. And uh, just to make it a little more modern, we could always add uh, little levers that spit out water. Like that. And then on the back wall, just covering the entire back wall of the first row, we can add furnaces. So that's the little kitchen back there. And just for some design, we can add some fence gates some spruce fence gates for the employees and that's going to be it for this tutorial episode we'll continue working on this next episode and hopefully we can get it done talk to you guys in the next one goodbye